Hey everyone, so today we're going to be doing a Buck gameplay commentary video. I'm just going to kind of share my thoughts, thought process, what I'm doing, and give commentary as best I can, explaining my logic and decision making. So for Buck, I like to start with coffee, and jungle shoes gives him a lot of really strong early game maneuverability, and you don't have to worry about getting picked off early on by something like Fuzzy or Molly. Uh, generally, I feel like coffee is just a very, very strong item, and it's a great choice on any character in general. So I'm running around right now looking for the legendary guard. Uh, I kind of lost track of it. Not usually what happens, but uh, this is my first commentary, so a little distracted. Uh, there was a gold grenade in there. I'm going to have to pick that up in a second after I pick off the Larry. So you can just see how strong Buck is, and we're just kind of annihilating everybody in our path. Now, I am level 16, but um, even normal normalized levels, you know, if I was level 10, level 10s would still die pretty quickly. That's just the nature of Buck with coffee and jungle shoes. At the same time, your speed is incredible, your cooldowns are low, and you're just running around, killing everybody. Kind of in the mid game now, and in the mid game, you don't really want to engage or commit too hard to a fight as Buck. You can definitely get picked off by like a fuzzy with uh, the legendary grenade, and it's not something we want to we want to deal with right now. So we don't have much chance against this Molly at the moment. If he gets closer to the bush, we might... I'm just kind of waiting. This Nyx could be killable. Gonna pick up this Silver Spear, though. We're not too looted up. There's a big discrepancy with the power of gold versus silver and silver versus bronze. I definitely think, even at level 16, it's very important to have the best quality weapons that you can possibly have. Another cool thing about Buck is if you charge as someone shoots you, you will ignore any knockback during the animation. So as you saw there, the Nyx shot me, and I ignored any knockback from his arrow because I was charging. Um, this only happens during the animation. Once the animation's over, it'll still be knocked back. But I definitely think that's a really good thing to know about Buck. Another advantage you can use and incorporate in your play style and how you plan your attacks. That molly is a little too close. There's the legendary. And this last guy is gonna die right after he comes out. So there you have it. We're gonna hop right into another game. And I want to talk about the early game meta for Buck a little more. So if you don't run coffee, which I don't know, I just think it's way too strong not to on Buck, but you know, if you don't, that's fine. You're gonna look to start a little more passive. Um, you don't wanna necessarily rush the legendary guard. There's gonna be a lot of other people with coffee going for him or her. And in general, coffee is going to win that contest. You know, if you have coffee and you're trying to kill the legendary guard, you're definitely going to have a way better chance than someone who doesn't have coffee, you know, in taking that item and getting that advantage. And another risk uh, about going for the legendary guard early is if you don't have any health kits in storage, you're definitely not going to be able to pick any of them up because everyone also trying to get that legendary is going to have coffee. And there are times when your character is just too strong. You know, let's say you're you're really high level on like, like a Molly or a Nyx, um, and you just have a lot of control. You know, you can throw grenades over and over again. You can just kind of bait the legendary, kind of throw grenades at it until everything's cleared out. I'm gonna get this Ollie real quick. Pick up this spear. 
This is a very easy kill for Buck. Yeah, we still have a little bit of coffee left. Alright, so... Fuzzy's gonna look to attack and that's his mistake. Alright, we missed our charge there, unfortunately. But... It's alright. I'm just gonna disengage here. We're entering into the, the mid-game. We don't want to commit too hard. This Nyx might, uh, might dash in here. If he does, we will kill him. Bye. And this Nyx, we're going to wait for his dash. So he's flagging here. I generally don't care if you flag. I'm still going to kill you. I'm just playing the game. I'm not going to spare anyone, even the people I duo with. I think it's a... Uh, poor way to play the game, you know, if if you see a friend in the game and they flag and then all of a sudden, you know, you guys are now kind of teamed up, killing everyone else, making sure not to kill each other. Not only is it not fair, but I don't find it very fun. You know, I mean, for me, I'm level 16, so I have it pretty easy already. Don't get me wrong, but to team up with someone in solos or in duos, now it's like instead of 2v everybody, it's 4v everybody. I just don't find that fun. Um, some people say that, you know, oh, we don't want to make clan mates lose trophies, you know, that hurts our clan, but it's so insignificant in the greater scheme of things. So, you know, I just play the game, but that's just me. You know, everyone, everyone has their own way to play, and I respect that. Uh, but if you see me in the game and you flag, I will not care at all. Uh, this last guy's probably in this red present over here. Or the blue one up in the corner. We'll find out. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna hop into another one. Pretty lucky spawn here. Legendary guards right above. There's a Larry near us too, but looks like he spawned outside of the igloo. Just, uh, embarrassingly miss our charge there, pick up this health kit, there's a silver shotgun here, I think it's worth my time, so I'm gonna grab that real quick, and then we're gonna head over to the legendary guard, um, yeah, we got coffee, we got luck, buckets, no one is, uh, no one can take down the legendary guard as quick as Buck can, here he's already very hurt, but, you know, still see how much of an advantage we have in the legendary guard contest versus everyone else as buck with coffee and max level <laughs> another guy flagging don't care he's got one health kit left I really want to get him. I really dislike people who play like this. You know, I get it. You, you want your snorkel, you're just gonna sit around until the last two people, but it really bothers me for some reason, you know? Like, just play the game. How can this possibly be fun, just running around with a snorkel? I wish I had ranged. This would be a lot easier. Okay, he's gonna have to come out in a second. And we're gonna get him here. Bye, Mr. Finn. You know, I made it in. Wow. <laughs> I'm gonna get him. Oh, there he is. He's gone. Pepper got him. Okay, so there you see the dash. I uh, ignored his knockback from his spear. He charged just at the right time with Buck. Like I said in the past, you can ignore that knockback from their weapons. 
Very useful tip, especially against fuzzy. Uh, or like fuzzy, you know, if you charge at the right time, you can charge exactly through their slow. And we've got him in a pickle here. Let me pick up that health kit. Just wanna place that down, block an attack. And I'm gonna try and proc double shoes here. So we charge there through the slow. And he's dead. Okay, last guy. Does he have snorkel? No. Okay. That makes it a little easier, less annoying. Good fight, sir. And there you have it. Thanks for watching this video. Uh, any comments, questions, anything at all you want to say, ask, I will respond in the next video. Happy hunting.